Good morning and welcome to Wacky Wednesday. Hope everybody's doing really well. So as I have said on previous videos, uh, during these energetic changes, we may be experiencing bizarre memories of dreams, uh, deja vus, um, things appearing as if they've already occurred while you're in the present moment and you get this kind of feeling like, hmm, I feel like I've had this whole thing play out before. So as you're getting these dream states, as you're getting these deja vus, just acknowledge them with a simple thank you. I feel, see, and sense. Not sure what it's about, but I acknowledge that my physical self in this present moment is experiencing this, but I'm not going to spend too much time over greasing the hamster wheel or figuring out lions, tigers, and bears in the monkey mind. Okay, meaning you're not going to recycle, recycle, recycle on a conscious level to try to figure it out. Which brought me to a lot of dreams that I'm currently having in conversations with other people that I recognize and people that I don't recognize. But because of the way I've learned to operate, which is a new whiteboard, a new slate, there's no Google brain for reference. Um, so I look at everything as a new experience based on an experience that I understand through my consciousness. So my unconscious may be talking to my conscious, but then my conscious mind needs to try to make logical sense of it and it may not. So with that being said, I do my best to just say, okay, thank you. Not understanding that or thank you. I think I kind of sense a little bit about that. Um, but I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to keep it real, keep it moving, and allow my guide team, my higher self, to give me more input when it's necessary. So I'm not constantly, huh, that was really weird, and keep talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. Okay? So, also with that being said, um, some of the things may appear real, some of the things may appear false reality. So you're not sure. So you let your guide team take over and assist you on this path. So recently I've been getting a lot of dreams. And, you know, years ago when I was doing a lot of regression courses, uh, I would always be told, dream journal, dream journal, write your dreams down. And let me tell you what, did that till my pen went dry. Didn't really help me figure out a doggone thing. So again, spirit always takes you back to, Sandy, stop following what everybody else tells you to do. Ask yourself, okay, I'll try a dream, dream journal. And then after a couple months, if it's not making sense, then you're just going to stop, right? So that goes with everything. So don't be afraid to erase the whiteboard and start over on a daily basis, okay? So, I've been getting these dreams about turtles. Very vivid dreams about turtles. And my first dream was I'm floating in the water and two turtles with a long, what looks like glowing stick or glowing something. And they're enmeshed in what looks like rope, almost like an old fisherman's net. And they're floating, and they're going around, and they're floating, and they're going around. And so as this one time they come back around in front of my eyes, I see that they're dying. And so I'm being told to unnet them, get them out of their net. So I took the net off. And so then they began to swim around. So as they began to swim around, their eyes were open now, but they were having a pattern of swimming with this particular current. So it was very interesting. And then one of the turtles is down below nipping at my, at my calf. 
and my hand is swatting it and it's coming back and it's nipping. My hand swats it and I can feel all of this completely and totally like I'm living it. And then the turtle, turtle comes back to the surface and then they just begin to swim and I could pet them and so on. Wake up from the dream. This was about 10 days ago. All right. Okay, spirit, whatever that meant, just let me know more. Let me know more. So then at some point in the middle of the night, last night, I have a dream of a little flying turtle. And I'm walking and it's doing a certain pattern. And at first I go to swat it away because I think it's going to get stuck in my hair, or hit me in my head, injure me or injure itself. <laughs> but I was like, get away, get away. But then I realized it was going in a specific pattern. And all I had to do was move a little bit as I'm walking, realizing that it sees, senses and feels me and it isn't going to hit me. So then I'm awake at like four o'clock in the morning after that. And I stopped thinking about it. So then this morning I had a few minutes here because some appointments were running late. And I said, all right, spirit. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. I've taken a little break from Labor Day weekend and just kind of been with the me, myself and I in the current current of the current moment in the present now. So what, what would be a good message to bring? And so the turtle pops up. So I say to myself, all right, well, I could be a cliche here and I could go look up turtle in one of my favorite books. I could look up turtle. I could get the gist of it. And then I can let the messages just keep coming through. So I reach in my drawer, dig out my book, and I go to turn the page to the, like the book to just sort of find the index and the turtle. And I swear to you, the very first page that it opened up to was this. Very first one. Very first one. As I went to flip with my thumb like this, it stopped literally and opened up on turtle swear so I went all right okay all right let's take a note the keynote of a turtle motherhood longevity awakening to opportunities as a group turtles are more ancient than any other vertebra vertebrae animal there are around 250 kinds 48 of which are found in the United States where I live DC turtles are unusual unusually distinct from tortoises and that the tortoises are land bound turtles live in and around water a great deal of mythology exists in regards to turtles in the far east the shell was a symbol of heaven and the square underside was a symbol of earth the turtle was an animal whose magic could help you unite heaven and earth within your own life. A symbol of the turtle was an invitation for the blessing of both heaven and earth. So, in the Far East, the shell symbolized heaven and the square underbelly symbolized earth. So it was about the magic that could unite heaven and earth within your own life. I don't even need to go any further. I don't need to go any further because the things that I have been working on, the things that I know that I came into be, which was a bridge between worlds. I've known this all my life that I had a unique bridge between worlds that seemed so real to me that I had no idea that I was a bridge. It wasn't until uh, my 20s 
when I started getting more into tarot, more into astrology, and then getting into my 30s and so on, that I've been, re I've been told repeatedly by different healers, mediums, astrology charts, etc., that I walked in between worlds and that I was a bridge between worlds. More and more significant symbolizations have come out since those decades and within these decades that I live now that do nothing but affirm and confirm that I walk between two worlds and I work between two worlds. And two is not necessarily all there is. I'm being told that right here, right now. There are different worlds within the worlds and that it seems so natural for me to go within these layers and levels that I don't look at it as if I'm in a different space and place. But there are times when they will distinctly have me feel it. And recently with the turtles, I've been feeling it. And so I've had visitors from other planets, and you may call them ETs, um, that have also shared with me that I am an emissary between the worlds. So that means helping to mend any broken bridges that are here in the now that I have been exposed to and prepared and prepped all my life so that as others begin to awaken now that I'm already in position with a much deeper seeing, sensing and feeling that I am a better liaison to help whoever comes to me to work between worlds and to solidify within their physical human self that we all have these abilities to do this. And I'm no different. I just may have had much different training and experiences before I came into this human body as Sandy. So I chose this, even though it felt weird and I couldn't share it with other people. And then it felt so very normal that I still couldn't share it with anybody else until really the last two decades and almost more so in the last decade since I've had the courage to leave behind relationships, places I've lived, packing things up, selling things off, living out of suitcases for the last 12 plus years and each time I step into the action that spirit guides me to and then I have the courage to be on whatever ledge they place me on knowing that I will either take flight or I will go into other levels but I will never be harmed by taking the plunge or taking the height and soaring and no matter where I am physically, mentally, etherically, emotionally, wherever, I will always be planted exactly where I need to be. Just like that turtle was showing me this morning that it was just gliding and moving just beautifully in and out of all these objects was not confined to just being in water as turtles were showing me prior to that. So while things are coming up for you, just be with them and acknowledge, whoa, that was, whew, just, what was that thought? Okay, let me just be with that. Thank you, I acknowledge. 
Thank you, guide. I acknowledge. Thank you, self. I acknowledge. So they're going to come in in whatever sensory is strongest for you. Could be sight, could be hearing, could be an imaginary thing. It could be just a feeling of something. And it could be a glimpse of something that literally is a frame out of a out of a picture reel. It doesn't have a story before it or after. It's just a picture, just a quick frame, but it tells you a lot of stuff. But you've got to see, sense, and feel to trust that where you are, you're evolving and being involved in this process of awakening that you are more than just a house, physical shell. There's so much more to this this inner software system that helps you navigate. And the more you learn about the inner software system, the more graceful you learn to navigate and the more answers and the more questions that come. So I want you to trust whatever it is that's happening, even if it's the most freaking bizarre discombobulation, jumbled up dream state or feeling, I want you to trust it. Just say, thank you, I recognize that. A little bizarre if there's something more, because it could be something that's coming up and just to be released. It could be something that's triggering a memory that's gonna now let go of that and go a little bit deeper for you in another area. But you need to acknowledge it acknowledge it in a silent kind of way and if you like to journal journal it because maybe for you it'll be pieces of the puzzle and then also with writing it then works with mental calligraphy is what i like to call it the swirls and the twirls of places that maybe you're not accessing through just a do 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 motion so you're using a more um, dance moves, mental dance moves. There we go. So tap into that, tap into that. And if you're somewhere in this journey where you need assistance, you know where to find me, embodimentofthesoul.com. In the meantime, I appreciate each and every one of you liking, subscribing, and sharing, and leaving me a comment. I really appreciate them. All right. So much love to you. And I'm hearing there's more to come on this. There's more to come on this. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye.